live. Ba -da -ba -ba. We'll do it live. Ba -da -ba. Live. Yeah, that's ba -ba -da -ba. good. Oh, I'm not even going to get my soundboard out of mothballs. You're, I hooked up my soundboard to my... No, I, it's just, it's on my tablet now, so like, uh, all the buttons are on the tablet, so, so I put the tablet next to it, and I don't need to go searching for it, but I don't feel like setting up any of that shit right now. Heard. I don't feel and like loud doing and clear anything. on the Twitch. Ari, I'm excited to hear you do the intro, yeah. it's been so long. Ivan's been really holding it down, killing it. Hey, that's me. Yep. Sorry, I still have the Twitch volume up. I think I missed oh. some sentences. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know either. I just heard Ivan's been holding it down. Oh, I was saying yep. you've been holding down the intro. Oh, for the uh, I'm intro. I'm excited to hear uh, Ari's you know, OG intro again. Oh, yeah. Captain, I return you the helm. We're going to do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> been a while. Hello? Fair enough. Uh, um, you got the song queued up though, so I don't have to go oh, looking you, for that. You know I do. He do. He do. He do. He do do baby. All right. So, uh, what are we playing today? Is this what type of uh, what is this um, tabletop type? What are the what's the rule set? What? So uh, today, well, so this is how to kick football horse. Hello. Uh, I'm Ivan. I'm going to be running the game. Joining me are Ari and Jesse. Hi, We I'm are Jesse. down, some, down some guys. Hey. That's Ari. Shorts. Um, it's been a while. I'm back. Yeah. Ari, you know, Ari, life happens. Back, Ari. Thursday nights don't always work for everyone. Yeah, it's great great to have you back, buddy. Um, it's been a while. It has been a hot minute. It has been too long. Uh, but... You know, to uh, keep with the uh, keeping everyone on their toes. Uh, tonight we are playing Mothership, uh, which is a like horror, sort of cyberpunk, sort of far future RPG. Um, I like to think of it as like, what if the company from the Aliens movies, uh, like, won basically. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that that sort of setting brought to its uh, logical, horrifying conclusion uh, is is the the running theme with Mothership, and uh, we're gonna add to that inherent uh, horror tonight by playing a game called Alone in the Deep, which takes place hell on yeah. a submarine in an alien ocean. Oh hell yeah! And we have a theme song, and it goes like this. All rise. Bring that beat back. <laughs> ah. Ruby. I'm Dame Pumpkin, man. Grab a stick and twist it. Uh, what did he just say to us? Two hops this time. Dun. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> All right, so uh, here we go. Let me give you guys some tokens. Oh, uh, hell yeah, dog. Send to token layer. So we've got, uh, if you'll consult your uh, journal tab over here on roll 20, you should see character one, scientist, character two, marine, character three, android, character four, teamster. Um, 
the <coughs> excuse me it looks like i might have actually already built these guys so Hell that's yeah. pretty tight for you guys um but take a look at them decide you know quickly which one you want and uh come up with a name and let's do this shit okay what are you thinking jesso mm -hmm. uh i'm just running through them real quick off the cusp do you have anything that's calling to you immediately? Um, I have scientist, teamster, android. Uh, let me just read through them. So the scientists, scientists, doctors, researchers, any aliens or infected crew members with a scalpel become an expert in genetics or xenobiology or protect your crew from deadly virus. So it sounds like the scientist is the healer type. We got teamsters, tough and tumble workers, more versatile at first level. Teamsters can be anything from engineers to pilots to asteroid miners. Uh, androids are an exciting and terrifying addition to any crew, powerful due to their supreme intellect, speed, and near immunity to fear. They tend to unnerve other crew members with their cold. And of course, Marines. Marines are here to shoot bugs and chew bubblegum. And they're all <laughs> out of bubblegum. They're handy in a fight and better when grouped together. So, uh, But be wary. When a Marine panics, it could spell doom for the rest of your crew. Um, I don't know, I'm kind I of feeling. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You, I'm thinking Teamster and Android. I was thinking Android or Scientist. We could also yeah. roll for. Um, there's a table included in this adventure called that is labeled "Why are the characters here?" If you guys each want to roll a D4, I can give you your reason for being aboard the ship, uh, mm -hmm. which is called the Rumor Eighty Nine. Um, and I can also read you this little, uh, little intro blurb. Something has Whoa. gone terribly wrong on the rumor 89 crew are failing to report for duty. Strange sounds are echoing throughout the vessel and it feels as though the ocean itself is trying to eat the submarine alive. Can the remaining crew figure out what's happening or will the rumor eight or <coughs> rumor 89 end up as yet another wreck on the ocean floor? So it's the rumor 89. The Rumor 89 is the nice. name of this submarine. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's like heard of, but not sure if it's real or not. So you guys both got a four. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Man, look at that. Uh, does one of you guys want to re-roll? Sure. Or I'll both of you? Sure. We'll both re-roll. Yeah. We both got a one. Two. <laughs> <laughs> that would be absolutely ridiculous. That would be awesome. <laughs> all right so uh ari with a one your character is flat broke and had to pick up the job on the submarine for a chance to leave the dangerous planet you were stuck on uh <clears throat> you <clears throat> you have to figure out how you ended up in this mess mm. so that feels like i could be more like teamster or marine because i feel like um you know marine could be more of like a uh uh, yeah, rogue kind of thing, but I think I'll go with Teamster. I think um, I, I think that fits well. Um, I'm a Teamster, and uh, I mean the ship needs a captain, right? So it says that you can be anything from engineers to pilots to asteroid miners. So I think coming onto the ship as the uh, you know um, the captain, sure. the sure navigator, the steer, um, or is there? Accent. Uh, oh, wait, unfortunately, you know. the captain. There is already a captain. Oh, there is already a captain. As the captain, uh, okay, I can tell cool. you about your your crew. Yeah, tell us about our crew, and well. then we can. That would be great. Yeah, uh, tell us about our crew. There's the there's of course the captain, who is a grizzled old man. He speaks in short sentences and is missing one eye. Tight. There is the head no scientist, iPad. a man, uh, Doctor Kapotsky, uh, who is studying, uh, you know, the various flora and fauna on the uh, on the ship. Or, uh, not on the ship, but on the ocean around the ship. On the side of the um, ship. He's pretty. Um, he's pretty full of himself, but he's not like a. You know, he's not like a all the way bad guy. You guys can you know stand to be on the submarine with him at least. Uh, there is the head chef, old Bjorn, um, oh, who hates God. the ocean but needs the money, uh, nice. and is That's handy rough. with a cleaver in a fight. Nice. Uh, and there is the head engineer, Mr. Mahoney, uh, who is known for being a 
heavy sleeper and having terrible luck. We'll call him High Top. We'll call him High Tower. High Tower. (laughs) Mahoney! I don't get it. Anyway, that was a police uh, police academy reference, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice! Uh, okay. I've never actually seen any of the police academy movies. A cab. Yeah, for A-cab. sure. A cab. Well, no, it's not A-cab so much. A-cab includes police academy. <laughs> well, I 100%. mean, that's kind of that is kind of the whole point of police academy. It does show how ridiculous it is and how. Sure. Yeah, the joke is like, look at these dumb cops most of the time, right? Yep, that's like, the, how can these people actually be fucking cops? You know, like, mm-hmm. these are the people protecting mm-hmm. our streets. So, it is a very A cab based movie. All right, I think I made a decision in here. A cab comma based or A cab based? <laughs> All right, I think, I think I've come up with A-cab a decision. A cab period based period. Yep. And, 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 put a, and put a little spice on it. So, I think I'll be a scientist. And I think. Um, Flat the, broke scientist. Love it. Yeah, but I'm not really a scientist. Like I know shit from learning stuff, uh, but like honestly, like you know, I'm just kind of making my way around with my charisma and my charm, and kind of leeching off other people's news and experiences and learning off that way. You know, I'm pretty oh, sure. handy with stuff, and I can you know do some type of uh, you know helpful first aid and surgery stuff. But you know, mostly I'm just kind of there to. Uh, you know, a little bit of a sort of a bit sort of, of a, copying, uh, copy. Uh, what's his name? Ka- Karpatsky? Kapatsky? Yeah, exactly. Uh, copying yeah. Kapatsky's notes. Yeah, pretty much like learning stuff on the fly because he's super duper smart, but he just doesn't like really. That's why he's dead broke because he doesn't fucking focus and stay on anything. So he just kind of leeches off people and then takes off. Got it. I don't know. That's not a good to me. And uh, like yeah, no, I love it. Uh, did you say a name? Do you have a name? My name is, uh, uh, Fior Risen. Oh, shit. Fior Risen. Got it. Don't know how you spell it, but. It's, I changed it in the, uh. I can, I can use my imagination. I changed it in the thing, too. Or was I supposed okay. to copy that? Yeah, let me do that instead. If you want to make another excellent, uh, and which of these uh, which of these character portraits would you like to use? Um, I let's see the scheming, no good, troublemaking. Which ones looks more like a? Uh, hold on, move out of the way. Which one would you the like? The second to use? windows. The second window stuck to my mouse, so I can't. Move Uh-oh. it out of the way. Shake it off. <laughs> Shake it off. Shake it off. Uh-huh. All right, let me pop it out. Um, I'll do the guy on the left. Great. Hell yeah. I'm up. I already forgot what my name was. Fior Risen. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fiore. Thank you very much. Fiore? Fiore. Got it. Are you wearing a like bowling shirt? Fiori Risen. Fio, fieri Risen. Fieri. Do a non type of non distinct accent. Could be from anywhere, you know, not a particular accent. It could be New York. It could be somewhere else. It's always kind of changing and evolving. You never know. Love it. Ah, uh, yes, the hyper planet New York. <laughs> yes. Times is getting worse. Jesse, Sometimes what do you got for us? Uh, what is my motivation? Oh, I'm yes. sorry. I never, I never read your motivation, did I? You rolled okay. a two. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are part of the corporation leading this venture. That makes perfect sense. Name it and what they want. Perfect. Because uh, I am, I think, a bit of like a medical cleaning all hands android associated with the shit. All right, android. But you're, you know, you're, you're. Uh... So what is the but what is the company and what do they uh, want out of this venture? What what are they having you do while you're here? Oh, um, I'm actually on um, some type of secret research gathering mission. There's there's actual research that the company's doing here that everybody thinks is doing it, but like I'm I'm looking into it. Oh, you're doing some vault tech shit. Yeah, you're nice. doing secret experiments. 
it's amazing like, it really and what it's about yeah human endurance and shit oh that's awesome. sure love that and uh what is, what does your android go by um i try to have people call me beepy but everybody has their mm-hmm. own unique nickname for me beepy beepy all right like bp oh that's funny beeps <laughs> beepums beeps, beeps is beepo great. Yeah, exactly. People, this is exactly it. And this is my, this Lo, is totally not my way beep. of making other people name me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. The real All question right. is, do people know I'm an Android or not? I think it's kind of, uh, I, th- I think the, in this the big metal fiction, dick gives it away. androids are... <laughs> I, th- I think androids are less than uh, subtle. You'd ha- I, I think as an android, you'd have to put some work in to appear like right. more fully human. It's the lack BB of knees, a, isn't it? BB a cock showing again. Might be that. Might be the, uh, you know, not eating and sleeping. I drink oil. Uh, I, it does say I have, I wanted to actually confirm this because it says I have MREs and I just wanted to make sure right away that my MREs are those classic looking pyramid little squeaky bottles of oil that I drink. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Cool. Yeah, whatever uh whatever gear it says in there you uh you should have, I believe. Oh, do you have a name you want to use for the company? Uh it says to let you pick it. Yeah, it does. And that, and that makes me on the spot. Terraria. Well what, what does what does <laughs> Terra Terra Tech. Horse Tech. Horse Tech. <laughs> there we go. Horse Tech. Work on horses, monster racing, and uh, cock enlargement. <laughs> Robot cock implants. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, you, you got that out before I could get to the uh, company name generator on fantasynamegenerators.com. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna call you Peggy. Peggy. I'm cool with that. <laughs> just you're gonna, just you're gonna only a couple of the name. letters of, of the original name. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Well, no, because he's got... to do a nickname. He's got a robot cog. Never mind. Yeah, no, pe- yeah. no, I got it. No, believe me. I understood. <laughs> it's a pet name. <laughs> it's a nice little pet name. I also right, I'm so carry just, a bonsai tree I'm just pushing back for other reasons. I got gotcha. you. Oh, adorable. I carry a uh, which token would you like to use there? a sign around it that says I'm not a robot. <laughs> Definitely not a robot. One hundred percent zero a robot. I'm sorry. Uh, which token do you want to use? Oh, um, hmm. I think this guy's probably the most robot looking, right? Oh, the guy on the right. Oh, I just you can't click at... him. No, I can't. No, we can't click him. Oh, what the fuck? I just looked at um. Because you have to I'm sign those asshole. tokens first. But I was looking at the skills, and I see that my skills are biology, computers, and chemistry. So yeah, I thought, yep. Yeah. Except I, I, I've used most of my chemistry skills for for making drugs. Yeah, for nefarious purposes. Hell for yeah. nefarious reasons. That's why I got kicked out of scientist school. Mm-hmm. Scientist school. <laughs> <laughs> Let me you tell know. you, if you've been. <laughs> There's a good chance that the chef here has done more science than the scientists. Just saying. Well, probably. A lot of chemistry Sometimes going on in the kitchen. kitchen work is more science than science. There's actually a good show. That's why they um, call it culinary art. Uh, the What is yes. it? Intro to Chemistry or something like that on Apple TV? 101? Something. Oh, I don't know. It's a really good show. I'm trying to it's... hit the outro every time I see chemistry, you know what I mean? Chemistry. Is it good? Is it fun? Yeah, it's a really fun show. Mm. It's about a chemist in the like fifties who um, becomes like a uh, meth- Julia Child's meth- type maker. character, and uh, she just kind of does all her cooking by chemistry standards, and so it's oh, it's cool. really cool. That's what it made me think of. Some yeah, modern kitchens can look like that. I also just had the idea that we should just make Breaking Bad, but in different time points. Oh my gosh, yeah. Voth break batted? <laughs> Breaketh malice. 
All right. Here's the <laughs> thing I want. Great. Uh, okay, right. so we've got our characters here now. I'm gonna yeah. copy your guys over here, and then I'm gonna make you the right size for the map. And then I'm gonna show you the map. Uh, as soon as I make sure, I'm putting you guys in the right room to start. And beep some springs. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Do, do fog of war. Uh, bang. You guys see that? I see nothing. What am I looking at? Oh, did I not move you? I didn't too. move you over. There it is. I see it. I'm in a room with a tube. What's in that tube? Can I, can I pet that tube? For, uh, for purposes of pet that tube? using maps I had available to me. Uh, these are actually burn bright map tiles, uh, but this is the navigation yeah, room of the uh, rumor eighty nine. Uh, you guys are currently assisting the captain in navigating around a uh, an alien sort of uh, coral reef on a uh, a weird rocky outcropping. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. You can, you know, steer the ship from here. You can uh, radio the other parts of the ship. You can uh, control the engines. Um, and let's see. To the south is the armory, and to the west is the galley. Uh, the captain is currently uh, yelling into his uh, communicator, trying to raise uh, Mr. Mahoney, the engineer, uh, believing that he is uh, sleeping on the job. Uh, as um, usual. And after a while, uh, with no response, he, he asks uh, the two of you to go down there and uh, see see what the deal is, see if he's in the engine room or see if he's in the sleeping quarters. All right. <clears throat> Sounds good. Yes, I'm sure the company wanted you to buy an Android as expensive as me to go check up on sleeping workers. Absolutely, right away, sir. <laughs> I mean, yeah. beep, beep, beep. He says, beeps, come on. I'm, I, you know, there's only so many of us down here. We got to, and there's only so much to do. I, I, I've, I've got the, sh the steering the ship part under control. I'm going to yeah, we'll take a walk. Come on. And I didn't buy you. Don't you get? Does the company not pay you? What's up with that? Yeah, that not was enough. Too. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm just hangry, and then I'm going to drink some oil out of my squeaky bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sure. Monday. Mondays. Am I right? No. I'm Mondays. Like Tuesdays. Every day of the week with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pegs. Let's go. Okay. Let's cool. check it out. All right. Uh, the sleeping quarters are due west of here through the galley. Uh, the engines, you'll have to go south through the armor, armory and then west again through electrical. Um, I do like electrical. We can go vent. <laughs> Wait, vent vent to electrical. Unfortunately, there's no vents. Um... Let's um, let's see if he is he he is where he's supposed to be. Let's okay. head down to the engines. What do you think? We'll go to the engine way. All right, we'll go engine way. We'll go yonder engine way. All right, to the south here. Be a little more area. <clears throat> All right, this is the armory. This is uh the reinforced hull of the vessel. Uh, there's periscopes and apparatus used to fire fire the two torpedo tubes that uh, are on the front of the rumor. Uh, there's a padlocked locker clearly labeled weapons, uh, which contains two handguns, 40 rounds of ammunition, and three grenades. <coughs> Excuse me. 
The captain has the key. Uh, mm-hmm. The corner of this room has a hatch that drops down into the emergency escape pod. Cool. <clears throat> I walk past and give it a pull. Just yeah, to can we see give it an examine, a quick examination <clears throat> on the... Oh, I'm going to examine the emergency hatch, not the armory locker. Yeah, well, he's distracted. I'm trying to, like, see if I can clock the... Uh, the lock on it and see if it's something I can fuck around with. It's fucking rascal. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> as far as uh, security goes, um, both are, both are, you know, as they ought to be. Um, if you invested some, some time, I'm sure you could, you could pick the lock. Probably. It's not like it's a, uh, it's not like it's a bank vault. Um, Worst case scenario, you, you could use a uh, plasma cutter and just cut right through the door, honestly. Um, yeah, but I don't want anybody to see what I'm doing. Right. Uh, it's, so more I, of a, it's more so of a does, deterrent than like an actual, you know. Yeah, how does, uh, how do like doing stuff in in Mothership work, like if I were to try something? Because I've never played before. This is the first time I've played. Oh, I could have swore you'd played this with us before. Nope, this was what you're... Uh, you played a different... My bad, I'm a... Uh... long ago. Yeah, I'm pretty... I, I could have swore we did. It doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, basically... Uh, well, thanks to Roll20's handy-dandy uh, character sheet thing, uh, it's really easy to do all the stuff in the game. Um, if I ask you for a save, I'll ask you for either a, a, an ability save or a... Uh, I forget what these ones are all called as a group, but sanity, fear, body, or armor, strength, speed, intellect, or combat. Uh, there's also stress and panic rolls, um, but we'll get to that. Um, and yeah, to roll a, a skill check, it's it's more. Um, there's there's less of the uh, they call it the warden in Mothership. There's less of the warden uh, calling for skill checks and like you know, initiative or whatever, uh, and more you guys offering, like, can I use this skill to do this thing to try and make your way through it? Got it. Okay, that's fine. That's perfect. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna just... Uh, I'm just going to take a little look while the captain is uh, not paying attention, and while they're not paying attention, I guess closest thing I could see would be mechanical repair to try and pick the lock, right? Sure, I'd take that. I would take um, jury rigging. I would take uh, let's see. I would take scavenging. I don't see jury rigging. That might be an advanced one. It's an advanced one. Yeah, I've got... Or, excuse me, an expert level. Um, But yeah, go for it. Roll, Roll the one you said. Okie dokie. Not... Uh, unless there's a computer panel next to it, I could do computers. No, like it's just a, it's a lock. It's, yeah, it's like a padlock. It's a it's a yeah. old timey. Why not? Let's not let's start it off. Always start with a nice early roll. Mm-hmm. And click. And click. And click. I'm not getting anything when I click it. Uh it might have opened another window asking you for a modifier. I um, don't see it. Oh yeah, it did all the way down there. Advantage or disadvantage. Normal. So there it is. Tribute. I guess that would be intellect. And submit. Modifier zero. Advantage is not here. There you go. So your the idea is to roll under your uh, target number. So unfortunately, with your okay. uh, heavy heavy machinery skill, um, that doesn't quite extend to uh, lock picking. You know, if you were to say smack it with a, a heavy piece of machinery, it would probably just pop right off. Yeah. Okay. Just just making sure it's secure. That's on, folks. Absolutely is. All right, uh, to the, I, I guess I'll just show you the, that so you know it's there. Uh, to the west. That's the engine, in, that's electrical? That, no, that's the escape pod. This is electrical. Mm. Uh, which is a claustrophobic corridor of wires, buttons, and electronics. It's a little difficult to navigate through. 
especially if one were to be in a hurry. Um, let's see. There's uh, there's also like various clutter and things around. Um, and beyond is the engine room. All right, let's move into the engine room after carefully navigating, not in a hurry. Sure. Squeezing on through. Um, give me, uh, hmm, give me something here. Let me look at these. Yeah, I want to poke my head in because I want to hope to catch him sleeping on the job. Oh, sure. Um, give me some intellect rolls, would the both of you? Intellect. Intellectual. Uh, intellect. Yes. Both beat target. Wait, is it above or below target? Uh, below. Back. That's fine. Uh, Oof. You, you continue on into the next section. Cool. The engine chamber. The engine. Hello. Uh, this is a large room filled with twisting steel pipe veins and the brass organs of the vessel. The, uh, the engines grunt and splutter as they try and work against the weight of the water in the filled ballast tank. Uh, there's smoke and smog filling the air, and I'm going to need you guys... Uh, to either do something about that or make me a body save. I would um, do something about what exactly? The smoke. Uh, the smoke. Your exposure to the smoke. Um, yes. Can I ignore it because I'm a robot? Yeah, I was going to say as a robot. <laughs> is that, I think I'm going... it's still not good for an android probably. Yeah, your air intake cooling system probably. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, I'm gonna immediately like put my shirt and over my mouth as much as I can to kind of like make makeshift kind of little cover um, before sure. I do so. Uh, and uh, I think um, can I can we see where the smoke is coming from, or is it just kind of a general haze all over the room? Do we see a source? Uh, give me, uh, I, I would take, uh, I would take a roll. Uh, your heavy machinery would be a good one for this, I think. All right, my character sheet's not showing now. Oh, no. It's just showing, it's just showing a black box. All right, reload. Reload. I'm going to be back on roll 20. Jesser, you want to do something while I'm yeah, sure. refreshing? I will don my rebreather in hopes that it helps. Ooh. Um, sure. I have an oxygen tank connected to it, so that's pretty tight. Uh, um, that's what I was hoping to as check as to see if Android, I had Android, I also am skilled in linguistics, and I think I'm going to walk over to the engine and ask it in engine, what's wrong, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Nailed it. Linguistics. I love that. Um, so the engine, uh, yeah, the engine links up with you and uh, indicates a, uh, a burst, uh, burst pipe in the floor. Mm. Uh, it's spraying uh, the smoke and uh, covering the area in a slippery oil. Um, if you approach it, you'll have to, uh, you'll have to do something like Use uh, perhaps a speed roll okay. to remain upright or some other skill that I'd love to hear about. Okay. Well, I'm going, I'm going to, to don my hazard suit. Excellent. While you're Good doing idea. that, I kind of step back into the room. Wild that you're at work suit. not wearing it already, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, OSHA, like, I've, I've got, <laughs> I've got, yeah, exactly. I had it, like, I did it, like, had it, like, roll down to my waist, you know, like they do sure, with the sure. uh, coveralls, and so uh, then yeah, I, just, yeah. I just put it on fully. That's, with no shirt on? That's a on. cool look. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's a less cool look. <laughs> drinking a drinking a beer. Um all right, Slightly cool. cooler. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to um I think the the Android's probably a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I'm. This is kind of like my bag. I feel that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, go yeah. over okay. there, and um, I, I'll I'll take a look at it over here, and I'll, I'll I begin to crawl <laughs> through it so I don't slip. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I would like to Great. take you up I love on that, that speed check to move through it. <laughs> yeah, give me it. Um, oh yeah, I'm not about taking risks. I've just decided. Yeah, pretty Come fair. the fuck on. Hey, nice meeting you down here. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing down here? <laughs> I knew I should have used yeah. mathematics. God damn it. So, uh, yeah, so make me a, a body save, would you? Body, yaddy, yaddy. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. All right, that's cool. Uh, so you do, you just wipe out. You just fall on your ass. Uh, you're down on the ground. You don't. You manage to to do it in such a way as to not uh, invoke any uh, any damage. That's not great. to fall on top uh, of me either. Right. Yeah. Luckily, you guys weren't uh, like right. You know, you, you weren't conga lining. Sure. I guess, um, I guess I'm gonna swim over to the broken pipe then. <laughs> Sure. Um, motion. Yeah, I'm going to follow behind to, to get there, too. Um, Excellent. Uh, do we have any automated repair systems on the ship? Well, we got to do everything in here. <laughs> and where the fuck's Buck? Buck was supposed to be in here anyways. Yeah, maybe, yeah. This is bullshit. This is not what I signed up for. Um... My biological clock is ticking like this. Oh my god! Sorry. <laughs> have, have we found this pipe? <laughs> my cousin Vinny. What's that? Have we found the pipe? Oh yeah, we've gotten. Yeah, the pipe. yeah, yeah. You can you can spot it. It's the one spewing uh, smoke and and oil. What I is, think it's the one spewing uh, smoke and oil over there. <laughs> is it like? Uh, do we got a complete sever? Is it? Is it a hole in the side? Give me a skill check of some sort or an intellect roll. Um, excuse me. Do you think I could do computers or piloting? It's a ship. Operation mm. of airship. It says operation of spacecraft. Computers, fluent use of computers and networks. Eh, maybe just networks. give me the. Just give me an intellect. Uh, okay. Failed it. All right, Oof. I'm go I'm going to I'm going to get see if I can head over to the computer and shut down hey, um an unnecessary system to kind of help slow down whatever is going on in this system, you know, like kind of mm -hmm. shutting down a little bit, yeah. slowing the engine down or whatever, and let the captain know that uh first off, yeah, first I make this announcement to the captain, let him know what's going on. Uh captain, we got we got an issue about to slow down the the ship. I need to I need you all to slow it down. Uh, computers, maybe? He says, uh, he says, uh, over the radio, Mr. Risen, we're still, we are not moving currently. We are taking readings off of the outcropping. We are holding steady. No moving oh. going on. What do you need? Oh, well, okay. Never mind. I'm going to, I'm going to take the ship She's off the engine the off idle. Then I'm going to find out where this leak is coming from and see if I can shut down the system. Wait, what leak? What do you mean? We got a leak now. Your, we got Jersey, this, we got your this. planet Jersey accent is rubbing off on me. I know it's, it's tough. Uh, it's we've got, uh, do I know what this uh, pipe leads to or anything like that here? I'm going to do a computer's check to try and see if, uh, I'll tell you I what can, hitting the pipe um, leads to, I can glean any information about what system is being or subsystem is being affected. How about that? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, intellect, I think, right? No modifiers. I feel like having mathematics is OP. I Ooh. feel like I can use mathematics for anything. Yeah, mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> like when Sherlock Holmes used math to punch that guy real hard? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, that makes sense. Like if you I use math for real, if you put like math equations over a boxing match, people are like, "Yes, 
we uh, yes, I get this. <laughs> I get it. Makes it. sense to me. <laughs> I'm gonna reformat it using sacred geometry. Thank uh, you very much. <laughs> oh man, that would be awesome. That's right. I think that's a different. Uh, I would I would take that as a character in like Troika or uh, yeah, Mutant sure. Future. <laughs> All right, I rolled under a gasset. Amazing. So uh, with a successful computer roll, you are able to uh, diagnose the problem as a... uh, Broken pipe. uh, (laughs) (laughs) It is a piston pressure uh, valve release. Better to be pissed in than pissed out. It's one of the things that uh, keeps the air circulating in the submarine and uh, that it has sprung a leak isn't great. Uh, the sooner it can be repaired, the better. And, um, yeah, uh, on closer inspection, once you, I imagine after getting to the computer, you then get back down on your belly on the floor and shimmy over to the pipe itself. Well, I, I, I searched um, like Google, like how to fix <laughs> piston future YouTube. You, uh, it reminds you that your monthly payment of uh, forty nine ninety nine is coming up. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I crawl um, back over. Or you'll I'm... be sentenced to three months in a work camp. <laughs> That's right. Um, I, I, I crawl. Yeah, I crawl back over and I say, it's the piston. You know what they say? It's better to be pissed on than pissed off. Better to be pissed. Make me a off. speed check, would you? <laughs> Fury. Yeah. yeah, I can be fast. Got to go fast. Um, sometimes you do got to. Hey, nice, right. damn! You did go fast. Love well, that. <laughs> so, uh, just as this uh, crushing bit of uh, co- comedy genius passes your lips, you uh, you're sort of like reaching. You're not like reaching towards it because obviously it's like a hot pipe, but you're like getting a closer look without getting your face in the spray. And uh, just as you do that. This sort of, uh, hmm, how would I describe it? Uh, let's go with, well, let's make it a little smaller so he's not completely insane. Let's leave him a little big for detail, though. A gross worm snaps up out at you. He's much smaller than this guy is but for sake of of visuals i think i'm gonna leave him about yeah like size of a hamster or size of a i don't know man Uh, he's probably like hamster width but like i don't know he's he's like a snake snake size pretty pretty big it's like a body pillow size no not that big oh okay less than a body maybe like maybe like maybe like full Maybe like pillow and a half length, but mm. definitely not width. Width, like width wise, I would say hamster, like a Got snake. It. Got it. Um, like three or four ferrets. <laughs> nice. That's actually not far off. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that's. I'll take that. Three or four ferrets. Um. All right, I'm gonna study this fucker. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at this fucker. I'm gonna study this fucker straight on. All right. What would you like to use to do that? I mean, I don't. See oh, you know what? Actually, give me, um, give me, uh, give me, give oh, me yeah. a stress. Or you know what? Just take a, just take a point of stress, would you? I'll take a point of stress. I'm. Um, <clears throat> in this game, uh, Ari, since you haven't played before, stress is the only thing that you want to roll over. Um, and you roll instead of the D one hundred, you'll be rolling two uh, D six trying to get over the number that your stress is at. Got it. And you can heal stress, as it were, on a level up. Uh, I forget the exact process off the top of my head, but you can drop... You can either, like, lower your stress or, like, mm, gain a skill point or something. I don't know. There's some type of trade-off. I don't remember what it is. Uh, We'll get there, though. But yeah, so this thing, um, this thing's like a, it's got skin like a slug. Uh, it's like a tube with just a nasty, sharp toothed mouth on the one end. It's got uh, like flippers on the the far back. 
and all the way up the length of it are these sort of like uh like gelatinous almost like tendrils like little like little tentacles mm. um, that's whack that sort of they sort of flop around like uh i don't know like uh like fettuccine noodles there we go oh i want to open him up oh yeah I'm gonna okay. shoot a. Uh, I'm gonna shoot my little tranky pistol at this thing. Excellent. Uh, yeah, give me a, give me an attack roll. I think you should be able to just. Do you have that in your? You have yeah. that in your inventory, correct? You should be able to just click on it. Uh, but it's not. Oh, okay, I have to put it as gear first. There's an attack. It says. On the right. Is it in there? Yeah, but it it doesn't. Ha- it has. Uh, hold on, I need to put this over there it is trank pistol i had to put it over there because it was done but it doesn't have any of the stuff on it it doesn't have any of the effects on it all right i'll hit it with uh, a stun baton then i'm just gonna hit it with a stun baton hold on i think up. i can find your trank pistol here we go um so shooting it with the trank pistol means it must make a body save or fall unconscious for 1d10 rounds. So I will have this thing make a body save by getting my dice out like a professional guy who knows he's running a game. And here we go. That is going to be a big nine. So that's uh, definitely a positive save. Um, Mm. You... You shoot, and uh, you know the 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 sudden uh, the quick draw of the trank pistol sort of sends it wide, and uh, uh, it just bounces off some some other pipes. Um, also, I believe you're laying on the ground, uh, not the yep, I'm you know, prone. not the not the optimal <laughs> trank pistol uh, firing posture. Um, but yeah, the thing sort of uh, it like hiss gurgles at you. And uh, prepares to snap again. All right. You want to fix this smoke and I do this? So you want to do this and I do that? Mm. I think the skin of this might be good for repairing. Mm. I say as I stand up and pull out my rigging gun, which essentially looks like a giant harpoon. Love that. That's going to be a hard shot. Try to avoid the brains. (laughs) <laughs> you want the brain? I don't know. Yeah. I want to see what <laughs> chemicals that make this brain go broom. Um, what makes you think it's going to sure. be particularly hard? I, I feel like size. hitting I a... Right. It's about the size yeah, of three hitting a there, snake right? with a harpoon tough. would be kind of difficult. Yeah, no. I um, think you're probably right about that. So yeah, go, if you still want to do it, uh, do it with disadvantage. Okay, I'm gonna do it just because I already. Also, this thing does triple it. damage on a successful hit. So. Oof. Disadvantage. Damn, I would have done it without disadvantage. Would have got have got uh, uh, you meddling kids. Rats, rats okay. off to you. Uh, retract, well, I might get it on the retract. <laughs> sure. You, uh, you shoot and begin retracting your harpoon. Um, the critter is going to, uh, go ahead and, uh, is going to do this. Let's see. It would have been so cool if I just impaled him, pulled him towards me and stuffed him over the hole. <laughs> Get over here! Exactly. This is not the roll. I'm just seeing what... uh, Excuse me, what roll 20 is doing at the moment. Um, Okay. It attacks me with a scalpel. How dare it? That's my... (laughs) Okay. Uh, I get it now. Uh, this will do. Okay, um, Ari, give me a body save again, would you? Or if you're wearing armor, Mm -hmm. I think you can wear, you can use armor save if that's better. 
Uh, I'm wearing a hazard suit. I don't know if that counts as armor. I believe that gives you some type of defense bonus. Let's find out. Um... Uh, okay. That uh, gives I you plus see... five to your armor save. Cool. So I will do an armor save then. Amazing. Wait, I don't want a plus five. I want under five, don't I? Well, it, it's uh, like... I guess they just say plus five. It's uh Oof. Nice. Nice. It's the base, the base number, I mean. Um... All right, so this thing yeah, is going to snag you. 70 minus, you. 70 minus 1 is Whoops. what this thing said. Um, dang. So this guy is going to bite you with these razor-sharp, uh, awful little teeth. Uh, it's only going to do 2 damage, but in this moment it becomes obvious to you that this is the creature that has caused the uh, rupture in the pipe. You see that the... Uh, the size and shape of the piece of missing pipe uh, it's worm shaped. matches matches this thing uh, pretty pretty well. All right, um, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, go ahead and wait. There's oil on the ground, so I don't want to use this stun baton. Actually, probably not a good idea to use spark around all this mm -hmm. oil. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try and hit it with another trank. All right. Uh, I do the body save. That's going to be a four. Uh, so yeah, body save successful. Another miss. Oh, this thing's wriggly. wriggly. He's a squiggly. He's a squiggly awful little thing. He really is. Mm-hmm. Is that on me then? You want to go uh, and give it a shot? Yeah, I'm. I, I'm. I'm willing to hear any uh, any ideas. Well, what I think happened was I shot the gun and missed it, and then like so the harpoon looks True. kind of like a big bullet with a string attached to it, right? And it shoots out, and then like maybe three or four prongs come out the side, almost like grappling hook like. Sure. Not quite. So after like it misses, I deploy the hooks, reel it back in, go into grab, scoop the fucker in in the like newly deployed hooks to grab it. Okay. It's kind of a grapple attempt that I'm using with the gun. Hmm. Sure. What do you want to roll to try this? Um, I I think it'd be fair to use rigging, maybe not at disadvantage, but your call. The rigging gun, I mean. Yeah, sure. While he's doing that, I want to. If you like mathematics more. While he's no, doing that, I want to I want I want to start like smacking and making noises to call attention to me while while he's doing that to give him a little bit of a better chance. So I'm like, hey, hey, oh, yeah. damn, excellent, it, I missed again. <laughs> what, um, oh, well, at least my would that have given you advantage? What did it give me? Well, I would. Have had I don't know. I'm saying I was trying to help to see if we could get advantage. Oh, I see what you were doing now. Sorry. Yeah, sure. I would have. Do advantage. Do advantage. We'll do advantage. Yeah, because he's not paying attention to you, because so you got to Because you want to do cool shit, so I still fucking... Play. Hey, you got it that time. No, I didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Nope, no, I, didn't. <laughs> I was like one lower than the other one. Goddamn worm. Um, I'm going to stub this thing. You so did roll worm. lower than uh, this creature's uh, body save, though. Um, which I think should be a hit. Yeah, for a little grapple. It's not like I'm trying to hit, hit. Just tangle him up. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, he's distracted, or well, Entangled. it is distracted, and uh, gets the gets snagged by the hook. It uh, it definitely tries to resist. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll take you another another uh, round to to reel it in. But, no, I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna grab one of the darts that were on the ground, and I'm just gonna stick it into into it, just as it's yeah, trying to fight for the uh, fight against. Sure, it. give me a give me a speed check. Okie dokie. Do I get advantage because it's on a hook or normal? <laughs> it is uh, no, just do normal. 
there's not really any way you're going to be able to like oof ow disengage damn. from this, dis this situation so yeah the 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 angle of this harpoon shot is such that uh to drag this thing out of its little hiding hole you're going to basically have to drag it over fiori um all right so uh yeah give me um uh give me that body save hmm or I guess roll... No, I'm sorry. Roll armor against my attack roll. I think that's how we're actually supposed to do it. It's been a while since I've actually makes, read these rules. That feels right. All right. I got it that time. Oh, wow. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, so it snaps at you, but I guess it just catches your... Uh, it just catches your sleeve or something, and uh, it gets... Uh, continues to get dragged past These silly little worms <laughs> silly little games yep um yeah the thing uh the thing writhes and shrieks and uh makes a makes an awful racket uh and it's coming closer to you uh beeps what are you what are you gonna do um so i also wanted to clarify excuse me if this is too much backtracking but um Rather than have like a gun in my hand, my wrist flips down and I use the harpoon out of it. Okay, <laughs> sure. Like that. Um, and then the other wrist is going to flip down and my uh, vibe shetty is going to come out of it <laughs> for cutting through the dense vibe forest. Um, sure. Vibe check. And then Little I'm vibe. Gonna um, cut its head off. I feel like the, is is this like. I feel like the the line for this is the vibe shetty is like stored in your hand versus is part of your hand because like yes. giving you something that you like literally can't be disarmed. No, no, no. It's the, yeah, no, no. It's like short, it, short of being be like literally out, disarmed yeah, for sure, for sure. Which can do damage. <laughs> I mean, that's also a disadvantage too. You lose your arm. You actually take tons of damage. Uh, yeah, no. I'm not trying to like stack my dude or anything. I, it's it's just for aesthetic purposes. Just sure, that's fine. Yeah, just just pull it out of your wrist. That's fine. Yeah, uh, and I'm gonna Great. try to cut its head off. Give it a shot. For whatever reason, um, this dude really wants its head. <laughs> sure, give me the. Uh, the vibe shady. I'll do the. I'll do the save, and yeah, give me the vibe shady roll. Eighty-five. My rolls are trash. I got a twenty-nine, so I think that's gonna be a miss. Yep. Somehow. <laughs> Uh, but fighter, valiant, valiant effort. Uh, now you give me the armor save, would you? Oh yeah, I guess I did just pull it into me, didn't I? <laughs> you really? Yeah, you're like here you go. Um, armor, armor. Come armor. to me. Come to butthead. How do I, oh, there it is. <laughs> Come to butthead. <laughs> Thirty-four. All right, that's lower yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. than mine, so it's gonna be a miss. All right. Uh, it snaps at you a bunch. Uh, what are you What are you gonna do to keep this thing from just continuing to to grab at you? Continue to try to cut off its head. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shock it with. I'm gonna say fuck this and pull out my shock baton and I'm just gonna swing oh, my shock. No, baton I don't at like it. this. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna just like push it up against him. Just oh my like, god! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking throw it at you. <laughs> this is awful. Sure. Uh, roll it. All right. Hey. All right, you successfully stun baton this guy. Um, let me see. What does the stun baton do? Anything fun? Damage. Uh, oh, there's no save on that. That's fun. Whoa. Oh, good. Um, all stun, all fun. Oh, that's a crit, no save. I was uh, reading the wrong column. Some fun. Whatever. Um, some fun. I do still get a body save. Uh, that's gonna be a failure. So this thing is done for one round. It it uh it shrieks and goes limp. Oh hell yeah! Do you want it? I'm gonna start the honors. It the smoke is head? getting thicker. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna cut off its head and and shove its fold its body in half and shove it over the pipe like a paste and try to make it like a glue. Because that's what their bodies are. Just right. shove it all in there. Paste. Not like in there enough to like block the pipe, but like. <laughs> 
enough on top like and, sealant and to be a band sealant around the yeah. pipe sure sure like tie it around it right yeah imagine like kind of stretching them out like a rope and then like wrapping it around <laughs> it and tie yeah sure bow up top yeah so that's what uh I'm yeah math with... will you accept a math <laughs> 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 to calculate his surface area, sure. <laughs> Math, please don't. Uh, give me, me, give me damage on the vibe shetty first, just to okay. just to make sure that you can actually drop this thing while oh, it's I out. I forgot I was trying to cut its head off, and I can't. Nope. I just can't. Um, it's too good. It's too good. I can't. Hit it's it. right there. I mean, I I feel like it's it's. At this point, you're not like missing because you're not just like. Just I mean, you're not like throwing I, I the thing like, up in the air, swinging wildly also, at would, it. This is just you know the damage that you've done so far. And I would also postulate if you were, yeah. Do advantage. You definitely. No, I'm doing this until it's hit. Because what the fuck? Well, look, it only stays it's unconscious for one round from the stun gun. So you you start anyway. you start nice. Um, Still you start it. chopping it into it. Uh, but unfortunately, it wakes up before you're able to to sever it the entire way. Um, I hate this worm so goddamn much. So wonderful. <laughs> well, don't you just die, worm? Are you too good for your home, worm? And it's not even fucking... the worm's fault. It's just that I can't fucking hit it. I fucking zap that shit again. That's all I've got All left. right. Do you want to try to use uh, That's going to be a success. Then I stab Give me it in the armor. Uh, okay, I lost the thread here. How oh, the third is? Uh, armor, armor, check. Ooh, Jesus, I almost knocked some important stuff over with that one. Oh, that's gonna be oh. nine damage from this bite. Oh, it hurts. Uh, yeah, also, right. give me a speed check, would you? Um, for the baton hit or for... Or... No, for this bite. Oh, got it. Nope. This is going All great. All right. Um, yeah, you when it uh, when it gets you this time, this is your this is your first time like actually getting bit. Uh, you notice there's this like sort of swelling feeling on your uh on the part of you that it has bit i assume an arm perhaps Son of a bitch. uh yeah. but yeah it's arm. uh it's unpleasant um and it is still uh still going buck wild uh at this point the captain has started radioing the both of you uh or well has tried radioing either both of you separately and is now uh paging you over the uh the ship's like pa system and is like all available hands please report to engines and then someone tell me what's going on down there anyone who's up like what the worms! hell worms <laughs> fucking worms you're just yelling worms into your radio <laughs> yes. yes oh wait hold on i i did a, I did a... <clears throat> All right. Um, okay. Did we get I want that, to. Did we, I want, did we get that math roll for uh, for tying this thing around the thing? Or, no, because you no, wanted he's, us to he's up kill again. it right, first. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to take my scalpel to alive. this thing, and I am going to just shove it into his head, and just stab his Animal. brain. Do it. So, all right. Enough of this nonsense. And I get up. Damn and it. I don't do shit. <laughs> oh <my gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> the nonsense shall continue. <laughs> All right. Uh, this thing is going to just uh, wiggle out of there. Uh, at this point, it's 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 with it enough. It knows it's in danger enough. Uh, it, it has to get away from you guys. And so it... Uh, it flops down off of the hook from the harpoon, uh, slaps wetly onto the floor, and then uh, scurries back into the duct work from whence it came a snapping. God damn it! I hate this. All right, I, uh, I get to work on that pipe. The pipe is still shooting. I get to work smoke. on the pipe. I get All to right. work on that pipe. Yeah, same. 
Um, hmm. Can I tie it in a pretzel knot? <laughs> And have it it would take blow. quite a strength check, but I would let you try. <coughs> because why not? While he's doing that, I'm grabbing like the whole repair kit that's probably in every room to repair yeah, the for hull. sure. And yeah, yeah there's over. some uh, yeah, there's some some easy weld and some uh, some smart metal. Um, repair kit. Oh, while he's doing that, I'm gonna probably some shrink cuffs of some sort. Fucking pilot and tell him what's going on. Big ass worm. Yeah. We're getting to the repairs now. Lots of smoke. No oh, sign of uh, no, no sign of Mahoney. Haven't been no able to look. Immediately uh, distracted with priority of repairing big smoky leak in pipe. Can I uh, can I use uh, chemistry to make sure that the the uh, bond is sealed properly, making the right kind of mixture of these two chemical components? Hundred percent. It on me. So it says strength, speed, intellect. I'm guessing that's intellect, right? I would take intellect, yes. And boom. Oh my goodness Looks perfect. gracious. You've you've never <laughs> seen someone emergency weld a, a tiny piece of metal so well. That um, failed. Man. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. But you don't know that. <laughs> you've you've a man, you have managed to affix a piece of metal to the pipe. Well it's done. still shooting smoke and oil. Ah. Hmm. I could use my. No, by no out. means is it sealed. All right, I'm gonna keep slopping more shit on there. Just slop it on. Just take <laughs> like a thing. Just be like, like I first. I'm trying to be like all careful. And like, mm -hmm. and then I'm just like, fuck it. And I just turn the uh, the it. bucket over just and just squeeze pour it. Both, <laughs> yeah, just both squeeze whole it. tubes out. <laughs> yeah, just doing my best to be like, God damn it. And, sure. Um... Oh my gosh, Jesus. this game is so fucking brutal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a greater than half chance too. I um, know, I know. It's a fifty-fifty, and I've been under this fifty a lot. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, well, it you know at, at the uh, at the expense of an entire uh, tube of emergency weld, which by the way is meant for repairing hull damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I will say you you do actually manage to to seal it. It's uh, it's sure not pretty. It's just a <laughs> lump of basically liquid metal. It's uh, bubbling on the outside of this tube. But yeah, it maybe bubbles a bit before it sets. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> leaves a big um, air bubble. Yeah. Can we take a pee break? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's let's do a short break here, folks. Amazing. Yeah, since we've been peeing all over our rolls, might as well. Be <laughs> the dice have peed on us, <laughs> yes. and so we shall pass this on to the toilet. Yeah. All right. Bur -bur uh, see y'all in ten. Yeah, I'm gonna leave us with the uh, the classic the classic hit Wheel Space Sally's theme, which I recently recovered from nice. the yeah, depths of one. my computer. Nice. Um, are we going till ten or ten thirty? Um, I should probably do. I'm like, good until ten thirty. I probably need to do a little earlier. Okay, then let's do a five. Okay, let's All do right. a five. All right. <laughs>
Where's the Mountain Dew? Where's the Mountain Dew? <laughs> Good shit. Classic. <laughs> ah. All right. I'm ready to, <laughs> I guess, be in a <laughs> smoky room with a badly welded pipe that could go any way any second. That's the spirit. <laughs> if the USA is so great, then why do they make a USB? Damn. <laughs> USB C, that shit's old as fuck. Right? USB C is nuts, America. Damn. All right. Damn. Yo, what's the damn? I was thinking while I was taking my pee break well that um, I don't know if this game does this, but and since I didn't pass the task, probably taking a level of stress or something, because I know I did. <laughs> I know Ari took an extra level of stress trying to roll that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, totally. Well, I think that'd be like a good trade off if like. You know, something needs to get done, or else we'd have spent the whole episode on it, but in exchange for stress. Well, you took one. Um, but I did. If you want to, if you want to take more, I sure won't stop you. <laughs> I, d I definitely feel like I took stress there. I, I will. Yeah. I will self. I will self inflict stress because I feel like, you know, giving the uh, the fix and the uh, running away, I think, should come at a cost at least for for the fixing of me getting frustrated when things don't go right. All right. I already have four stress. Nice. That's fucking good. All right. Um, so you have, uh, you know, to, by some technical standards, uh, repaired the uh, bitten through pipe. Um, the captain is eager for you guys to return to navigation and uh, give him a report about what's going on and also to uh, find Mahoney. I was going to be like, yeah, I'll be right there. And I'm going to go straight to find Mahoney in a yeah. very 
direct and aggressive manner. Continuing mission to find Mahoney now that uh, ship is not in immediate fucking catastrophe. Wait, wait, before we go, find it. Leave it better than you found it. I take out some mops, do a quick no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do put down some some of those signs, though, that are with the mops. Some, some, newspaper. <laughs> some, some newspaper. Some newspaper and a slippery newspaper sign. And some, <laughs> <laughs> some some of those like, slippery, slippery signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. I, I mean, I'm just going to drink that. the oil. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the mop, you just have you just have beeps upside down. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, I'm fanning away all this smoke, and I head to the wall. I'm like, somebody open up a window, huh? Uh, uh, fucking uh. guy. Um, this guy. So the thing is, to get to the sleeping quarters, you are going to have to go back through the navigation uh, room. Wait, we think you're okay. in the sleeping quarters? Uh, that was the captain's theory because uh, Mahoney. Oh, he's been. Over sleep. Wait, I think he's dead from smoke. I'm looking for him in the smoke areas. <laughs> oh no, the re- the the rest of the engine room is uh, is empty. Oh, that's incredible. Okay. All right. So let's head back um, up to navigation. There then. is. Yeah. Uh, there is a doorway to the research lab. However. Oh fuck it! Let's go that way. That's my lab. I uh, I, I uh, quickly scribble warning worm and put it where the worm scribbled off to as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get some worm poison and put it out there. Love that. All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so you approach the western door, and uh, the first thing you notice is that normally Uh-oh. the... Uh, research lab is locked. Uh, however, at the moment, the door has been uh, concerningly left ajar. Yeah, I'm oh, guessing I have shit. access to the lab, so I like go and pull my key card out, and only to notice that it's it's open. Mm-hmm. Um, the lab is remarkably clean compared to the rest of the rumor. The walls are covered in biology and chemistry charts detail. Charts detailing deep sea wildlife. Um, there is a large glass holding case in the corner that has been seemingly dropped on the floor and shattered. Um, this fucking worm holding these nuts. <laughs> there is also a, uh, a series of journals on the one of the uh, tables nearby. Um, would anyone care to? Gotta take that. Well, I have a question as as the being a scientist on the ship. Would I have knowledge? I'm guessing I would have knowledge about this room and what's going on, or is this something that's I wasn't working? In? Yes, but uh, you were unaware of any uh, living specimens currently on board, at least any matching this creature's description. Oh, there's like a little false bottom on one of the desks or something. And there's like yeah, it might or like secreted behind a panel or something. Yeah, but uh, it, it clearly wasn't meant to be left out. Got it. Story wise, that makes more sense. All right, um, uh, I'm going to uh, go check those research notes and see what the fuck was actually going on in here. Sure. What did you say, Jesse? I said perhaps my character has some hidden knowledge that maybe, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I'm into that. Maybe my character wouldn't know though. Sure. If you come yeah. up with something, I will is, happily. Perhaps this is the real. If you want to share, real, if you want to share backstory, real. like you know, story-wise, kind of for the audience and for the mm-hmm. game and everything, my character will still, of course, continue to not know what the fuck's going on. Of course. If you ever do come up with something, I'm saying. And I'm, I'm just saying, her. my character doesn't not pull out a notepad and paper. <laughs> yeah. so you're just gonna yeah just be sussing just around. make a little uh mm-hmm. intermanagerial memo here mm-hmm. uh all right so uh yeah these these journals are mostly just like dry uh formulas and uh analyses and stuff um Oh, I know, what, are, I know what all this stuff means. This right there are a few more like personal entries, and uh, Poop today. the last of them, uh, in fact, dated today. Reads mm-hmm. seven three twenty five forty six. Specimen appears to have breached its container. Cannot risk telling security team for potential risk of neutralization. Will attempt to manually recover subject. 
Um, there are two hazard suits in a closet in the corner of the room. And that's it. I would like to check the for the research lab of these hazard suits, and if they are indeed operable, dawn one. I already have it sure. on. I will replace mine because it has a hole in it from being fucking bitten. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, BP, make me a speed check, would you? Speedy wee. I click. Oh, there it is. Wee wee, BP. Excuse me. Yeah, oh, buddy. Um, Never do. Never do. That's going to be three damage from the concealed worm-like creature in the, in the uh, neck in the neck hole of the suit. What? A uh, he's clearly been in there chewing around. And uh, also, um, go ahead and uh, make me an armor save. Armor. Armor. Ten. Nice. Okay, you make it that time. So, uh, no damage. It, it, it bites you and catches a sleeve or just s snaps in the air in front of you intimidatingly. Take a, uh, take a stress, though, for it uh, jumping out at you like that. I'm going to flip cool. through the book real like to the, uh, to the entry about this creature and see if there's any information I can glean on it that may assist me to, uh, to take this thing down. Yes, indeed. Let me see what I can tell you here. Roll better. Um, <laughs> yes, maybe make the <laughs> mainly. I, oh, what's this? It's a token is... that rolls better. Got it. <laughs> it's allergic to friendship. Okay, got it. <laughs> um. So, the notes uh, identify this creature as an ulock. Uh, U l o c h. Uh, they are long, thin creatures with slug-like skin and thin fins coming off of their bodies. Um, they are a species of deep-sea eels, and they reproduce parasitically uh, by creating their hives in the bodies of larger creatures. God damn it, I'm fucking pregnant. Uh, <laughs> damn it. I look at my arm and I'm like, am. fucking shit. <laughs> um i'm going to quickly just kind of uh take a look at my arm and i'm going to hit myself with like a quick stim pack in it to try and undo the effects of whatever is going on with my swelling arm sure um uh let's see give me give me a stress test give me okay. 2d6 and get over your current stress okay well, I don't think it's... Where did that window go? Okay, 2d6, not under. Okay, that's one over. Jeez, no, it's not one over. It's, uh, it's three. Okay, no, I've got a four, so I'm good. All right, nicely done. Um, so you make your stress... Um, Let's see. Great. So you're not, we're not having to worry about panicking yet, which is fine because it's a little complicated, but that's okay. Um, great. Um, let's see here. Uh, bum, 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 bum. So yeah, um, you succeed in uh, in in getting the uh, your your first aid kit together. You uh, you pour some disinfectant out onto the uh, wound and uh, dig around in there a little bit. You find uh, you find some like egg pod type of thing. Uh, buried under the under the surface and uh, kind of just pop it out with the tweezers, uh, which itself, seeing that this thing was uh, get got inside you and uh, apparently growing quite rapidly, uh, is going to inflict another point of stress. 
Sweet. Uh, but you're fine. You don't have uh, worm growing in you anymore. And I'm going to step on that thing to make sure that it is. <laughs> like, I'm like, gross. Gross. That shit's gross. Can we please kill this thing or leave? Yeah. Like, I should hey, repeat the steps you're p- repeating, you're doing. Um, I'm going to call up on the um, on the speaker system, and uh, this is just a reminder, if anybody is going to get their ass down here, they might want to do it right fucking now. We've got worms. We got worms. We got worms. We need somebody down here, because obviously worms. we cannot fucking... Oh, where is it? Can you put the little token on so we can see the little worm guy? Yeah, you want to see some worm guy? Yeah, let's mm. see some worm guy. Here's let's our buddy. Yeah, that's our buddy. Ew, it's gross looking. He's so nasty. I hate him. I chose him because I hate him. Yeah, I hate him much. Um, <laughs> can I do um, a biology check on this thing to see if I can figure out any of its uh, weaknesses or anything that I can do to help it combat like? it? Maybe. Sure. Uh, I mean, I-, I can kind of just tell you these things. Um it is, I mean, as you saw when you were able to hit it with the Vibe Shetty, it is susceptible to, to injury. Like, it is a thing that you could, in, you know, theoretically chop to death. You, you are, as, uh, as people of the deep, you are unaware of any immortal species of eel <laughs> um, as yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, this, uh, this little nasty freak is... Uh, is just trying to burrow into stuff, and right. uh, I'm gonna try and trank dart him again from from across. The- give us give us the final trank dart. Well, that'll be our cliffhanger here at ten. All right, ten o two actually. Spank him and trank him. You know. Oh, but this is not so much. Careful, I, careful there. I, <laughs> hard my trank- spankings for the boys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hard trankings for the boys. <laughs> okay. Hard tranking for the boys. <laughs> oh, God. Um, since my stun gun isn't, or it's not set up in there, the trank gun's not set up, I'm just going to see what really quickly. Take your time. Yes. Trank pistol. All what right, are you looking so for on the trank pistol? What I need to roll because it's not set up. It says no save. Oh. Body plus save or fall unconscious for 1d10 rounds. Oh, right. I make the body save. Sorry. Body. That was my bad for not uh, oh, yeah. paying enough attention. Uh, they make the body save. Do we see like any like sheets or like anything that we can try and throw over this thing? Hmm. In here... I'll say you can find a lab coat. All right. Um, Not quite the same, but... I'm going to give the other end to my Android friend, and I'm going to say we, like, go for it and just try and, like, trap it in the middle of it. Hell yeah, I'm going for it. All right, give me... uh, What would you like... What would you guys like to roll for this? And I'll give you advantage. Probably Mm. speed... Math? Math, math, math. <laughs> math, zero G, biology, because I know the way it works and it runs. Um, I, I guess speed would probably be make the most sense. All right, yeah. let's do it. Yeah, I don't think I've got anything that would fit it. Okay, cool. Um, Oh, thank God. All right. Nicely done. So the two of you grab the arms of the... uh... Oh, nice. You got it, too. Whee! Yay. Uh, The two of you grab the arms of this errant lab coat and uh, spread out around the uh, the, uh, eel creature, the uh, lock, and... uh, you run at it and you run around behind it and twist it up and wrap the uh, wrap the jacket around it um, as tightly as you can and you like tie the arms up around it. So it's basically just this cloth sheath with the the little flappy uh, finned tail 
slapping around at the top yeah. of it. Hell yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's uh, put it back into the thing it came in. Oh, no, that's shattered. Never mind. Yeah, the tank is broken on the ground still, but uh, it seems like this will hold at least for the uh, for the time being. Mm. And um, as you guys uh, sort of pop down and catch your breath uh, with this thing secured, uh, two crew members appear uh, coming from the east. It's the captain and mm. the other person whose name I definitely remember. Not the sleep. Uh, uh, Old Bjorn. Old Bjorn, the chef. The head chef, yes. Uh He's got his cleaver, uh, the captain's got his gun, um, and he says, what is what is going on down here? He's like sort of looking at the obviously licked up oil, um, <laughs> and the extremely poorly welded pipe, and also the bundle of wriggling whatever the fuck is going on. New I grab a pair of spinners. It's called Do you guys it. even have access to this to this lab? Like, what's what is the deal, bro? I, uh, You're I, talking uh, to the head scientist and the robot, bro. What are you? I'm mean? not the head like, scientist, but Kaposky says I'm the head scientist. <laughs> and Excuse I don't me. know who does the actual work here, buddy. I, I grab I grab a pair it's of clear just not uh, true work <laughs> safety got. I, I pull out the work safety goggles and I hold them, and I'm just like. <laughs> Looks like the early bird caught the worm. And then I put my shades on and uh, uh... <laughs> yeah! oh. <laughs> Awesome. All right, up, folks. Well that's uh part one of uh of Alone in the Deep, uh Mothership Adventure by S. Murphy Games. You can find them on H.io. Dot IO. I talk good. Yeah. Uh and uh you know buy their stuff it's good stuff um, yeah they've got some really cool stuff for sale i was looking on it they've got something else yeah. that's coming out they got stuff we've got stuff follow us on the youtube follow us on the instagram follow us you know the places you know how the internet works the website and... mothership rpg is their actually website i thought i'd throw that out mothershiprpg.com is their website that's the uh yeah that's the system the adventure is by different folks i i believe it's i mean it's like you know sanctioned or whatever but it's a third party company oh that's a third party okay well they're cool yeah mother mothership's got a lot of really good third party stuff and uh because they wrote their uh ogl in uh a, a, an actually good way uh they have a huge supportive community nice um yeah yes so shout out to them for being cool and good and shout out to dj yev for all the banging tunes <laughs> and shout out to you guys for hanging out and playing mothership with me yeah thanks thank for coming for, out uh, folks thank you happen. for I'd like to Anytime. thank Roll Twenty for our roles, and that's it. Yeah, thanks, thanks to those number rocks mm -hmm. of the gods. Uh, anyone else got anything else? Sean McCoy looks like is the maker of Mothership. Mm. Hell yeah, Sean McCoy, killing it! Great happy, system, great happy setting. Henry Kissinger's dead. Happy. Oh yeah, Henry Kissinger remains dead. Yep. yep. Still dead. A victory for the entire planet. Sadly, he All right, good night, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>
Tequila. You gonna what you doing, dog? What?